I know this lens is a little tight, but I'm doing a quick vlog because I just heard the uh, doorbell go off. Because something cool, a couple things should have come in. Let's go downstairs to see if that's what it is because I sure hope so. Up here. PS and a couple other boxes. Let's get them upstairs. All right, I have all the boxes right here. Let's do a quick unboxing. Three, two, one. So everything's unboxed. Let's take a closer look. So with that quick unboxing, let's break down what I got from least interesting to interesting. And the first thing I got was a new extension cord, so that way I could charge multiple things at once. It's called the Power Squid. It was like 12 bucks on Amazon. I'll link that down below. But like this thing, pretty cool. Uh, just hoping it does a lot because that way I could charge all different batteries at one time But I think that this will be a life changer Especially over new technology, but there's the power squid the next thing you probably saw real quick was film I got a sx70 and I got a Polaroid uh, Impossible project color film and black and white film for the sx70 So you'll be seeing a lot more of this as well. It's a stupidly expensive then Another thing I got for the uh, 600 SC which you'll see in a second is FP 100 C Fuji film uh, so that way I can use it in there, it's instant film. And this stuff is starting to get scarce, it's on limited stock everywhere, so I wanted to buy a couple so I could use it. Once again, stupidly expensive. But I wanted to change things up and that's why I got something like this. Uh, I got this uh, on eBay for about $90. This is the SX70, I think this is the Alpha 2 model. So, yeah, Alpha 2, there you go right there. And once again, this has uh, this actually has split a split focus, I think. So that way, when you when you look into it, you look down, and you can find what you need. You focus using this um, this on the right side, and you go from there. You find whatever focus, uh, whatever that you're doing, and it kind of works like just anything. Once you see it in focus, you see it in focus. Uh, this actually does look down into a mirror. That's why it's blocked off. And uh, I don't know. I just there's a silver options. There's the Alpha One. The Alpha 3 is cheaper. I just wanted this because it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, and it said it was in pristine condition. So this is where you pop down, you put in the film. Um, the rollers actually look clean, which they're in the front right here. So that's good. You don't know if it works until you get the, uh, the film for it because it has the battery cartridge inside, just like a 600 Polaroid camera, but I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So, so glad I finally got one of these. You'll be see, definitely seeing a future video on this and if it's worth getting, but it's just simple as you have uh, pretty much like what you're thinking of exposure compensation on the left and you focus here and you one, two, three, you fire with the red button and the Polaroid will pop out. I'm not going to do it now, but so that's that. Lastly, but not leastly, something I won on eBay came in a big box was this Polaroid 600 SE. Now I've been wanting this for years. Um, make sure it came with everything. Uh, it came with the 127 millimeter lens. Uh, it didn't have the eyepiece, the eye cut back here. I don't care about that. It's got the Polaroid back. If I pop these off, uh, the rollers look to be in okay condition. I can just take this out and clean them. But everything else looks pretty good. I mean, I knew there were a couple like dings and dents and everything a little bit around, but for the price I got for this, it's not bad. And it should work. I mean, this is the shutter mechanism. Uh, so that way when you press this button, it ignites the shutter on the lens right here. Uh, you screw it into the right side of the lens right here. There's a little notch and that's what controls the shutter. And you flip it over, click it, and that's what'll make a fire. The interesting part about this 600 SE is the size. Like, holy crap, this thing is awesome. Um, the interesting part is, so you focus normally, but this is a manual focus polar, or manual exposure Polaroid. So you set the aperture to whatever you want and that's up front uh, on the front of the lens. And then even closer to that, you shut the, you set the shutter speed as well. But keep in mind, this is only a hundred speed film. So in low light, it's not gonna be the best and you might not get the best settings. Um, but I haven't tried it yet or anything, so you'll definitely be seeing more on this as well. Um, but yeah, overall, this is, this, is, this is something that I've wanted for a long time. Super, super large. And the film, as I said, it's, it's rather expensive. Right now it's running for $20 a box for 10 shots, but it's more comparable than um, Impossible Projects, eight photos per, which is an absolute ripoff, but uh, you don't need the batteries in these, they're just the film, so it, that's what the two spots are for. So I got the um, SX70, 600 SE, some film, and that Power Squid, so expect to see videos on these soon more in depth, and it's just something that 
I've wanted to get into for a while. This is like a dream camera that I've wanted to own, but they've always been too expensive. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's in the future. But first impressions, this thing is pretty cool. It's pretty legit, a little beat up, but not much. I could probably, you know, mess around with it if I want to, but I don't really care. As long as it works, as long as it fires, does the shutter fire? So if you, I don't know if you could see the pin moves. That means the shutter works, we'll be good. And let's, uh, let's go from there. So that's my quick gear haul. Something fun, something different. Stay tuned for more. DM, we talked about film already recently, but I'm excited. Super excited.